Hey there guys and welcome back to No More Heroes 2 Desperate Struggle. In the last part we beat and killed Alice and now we're ranked second. So yeah, all that remains is that bastard who ordered those guys to kill Bishop. So our vengeance is drawing ever closer after playing the game for about 7 hours. So yeah, the game is not really all that long but... I'd say 8 hours seems to be the new standard for single player. Travis, it's me. Are you ready for your last battle to the death? Yeah. You know where to go? It's close by. Hold on. Someone's at the door. It's my first time here. Isn't it? A VIP just showed up. Talk to you soon. Sure. Sylvia, I can't figure you out. You don't like me? I didn't say that. But there's a lot of things about you I don't get. You lie. You're greedy. You're a fucking contradiction in heels. You hate me. Well, your personality kind of sucks. So you do hate me. I'm crazy about you. What do you mean? Fuck if I know. Okay, you can hang up now. Think about your phone bills, man. That was gonna... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, this is... This is YouTube here. We're not supposed to show that kind of content. Closing the curtains, huh? Alright then. Holy crap! Earthquake! The earthquake's so heavy the letters start falling from the hotel sign until it says no more arrows. Uh, Travis, what happened to your shirt? Oh, I see. Well, uh, now what? Downward fucking dog! Brilliant. Oh, Travis. Well, at least she finally followed suit on that promise she made at the beginning of the very first game. For those of you that don't know, at the beginning of No More Heroes 1, Sylvia promised to Travis that she'd have sex with him if he got to number... to, like, rank number 1. But when he got to rank number 1 in uh, the original No More Heroes, I'm pretty sure, like, Sylvia was nowhere to be found. Like, she was long gone. And now Travis finally gets what she promised him so long ago. Because apparently there was like three years in between the two games. Alright then, learn some new wrestling moves. So, pretty much all we can do now is start prepping for the final fight. So, uh... What do we do? Yeah, let's walk outside. I guess, let's see, Pizza Bat Towers. You know what? We're going to Naomi's lab. Yeah, I know it's a waste of time because there's nothing there, but I didn't know that when I was playing this. So, yeah. But at least you can all have a little gander at Naomi's huge rack one more time. Yes, I'm pretty sure we're not gonna go back here again. Still nothing. If you're not gonna buy something, get out. She's so pleasant, isn't she? So nice. Not a douchebag at all. Or can you call females douchebags? I don't really... Like, i never seen anyone call a girl a douchebag. I don't know. Maybe that's something I need to look into. Anyways, let's go to Gay Guy's Gym. We haven't been there for a while, I think. Wait, who the hell is that guy? There's another guy in town who's stupid enough to work out here. Uh, muscle training. Yeah, pretty much all we can do now is just make sure we have everything maxed out for the final confrontation. And we still need a whole bunch of muscle training. Kick, duck, kick, great, fail, kick. Oh, not doing soup. So bad, actually. Hell, I'm doing good. Oh, crap. 
Kick, kick, kick. Come on, we can do this. Ah, crap. No, 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 no. Yes. Crap. Uh oh, this is. No, 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 no. Please. Have mercy. Oh, that's mean. Yep, figured as much. Eh, why don't you just go and pump that guy up who's apparently having some trouble with the dumbbells over there. Or the halter or whatever the hell you call that thing. You can tell I never go to a gym to work out. Because I don't know what the hell all these machines are called. I know this is a treadmill because that's logic, but... Yeah, let's just focus on the stamina training because we know I can do that many game. I don't completely suck at this. Yeah, 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 just... Like 10 seconds remaining, we can do this. Don't want to waste more money. Run, run, run. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sweet. Health increased again. Maybe I should have done this before I fought Alice. I mean, that still was too close. Like, if I had more health, I might have felt a bit safer when doing that fight. Go for more stamina training. Yes. Yes, we know, Ryan. With your epic chest hair. I mean, if he's that hairy on his chest, I'd hate to see the rest of his body, if you know what I mean. Bet he has one furry nutsack. Hidden in that purple, or pink, tights. What guy wears tights anyway, unless they're like a ballet dancer or a cyclist? I mean, real men don't wear tights. Unless you're a superhero. In that case, you're allowed to wear tights. But why the hell do all superheroes wear tights anyway? But yeah, health is increased again. I think her health is at the maximum now, actually. Yeah, yeah, we're going to keep on going. Oh, it's not maxed out yet. Aw, oh, crap, I don't have enough money. Uh, how do I earn money? Side missions. Or do I? I don't really feel like playing another retarded 8-bit minigame. But I guess I'll have to if I want to get some money. Oh wait, there's still some revenge missions. Well, those make money as well. And I'm pretty sure you guys want to see people get killed much rather than watching some 8-bit minigames. So we'll just go and kill some people for money and then we'll go back to run on treadmills. Kill all enemies within the time limits. Let's do this. Three, two, Bet it's a whole bunch of f yeah, fat people. Must kill fat people. Aw oh man, I missed a suplex opportunity. Really should focus on those more. Oh well, at least this guy is dead. Fountain of blood and money. Don't get your blood on my money. You know how hard blood stains are to wash out of something? That's like damn near impossible. Crap, chainsaw guy from behind. Surprise, chainsaw butt sex. That's gotta hurt. I mean, I'm surprised that hasn't been like in a Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. Someone getting a chainsaw up their ass. That would like maybe make something for Saw. Like Saw 27 or what the hell are they at these days? Like I kind of stopped counting after Saw 6. But I'm pretty sure they're like over 10 already. Wouldn't be surprised. I mean, hell, they're milking it almost as bad as Call of Frickin' Duty. Ooh, treasure chest, though. It's just a battery. Don't think there's any enemies up here. Uh, there's a fat guy over there. I think that might be the last of them. Just cut through the furniture. Don't worry. The UAA will pay for all the stuff we break. I think. And there we go. That's it. Well, that was pretty fast and easy. Finishing time. Well, we're already finished, so it's not really finishing time. I mean, finishing time kind of sounds like how they 
name a fatality in a retarded Mortal Kombat knockoff. Like instead of fatality, it's finishing time. I can see why they didn't go with that for Mortal Kombat, it kinda sucks. I mean, fatality simply sounds much more awesome. So we have the money back to our favorite homo and run on some more treadmills. But yeah, if he loves Travis so much, then why not give him like a huge ass discount? I mean, hell, that's what I would do if I ran a gym and the girl I loved came to work out there every day. Yeah. I mean, you need to swoon them one way or another, right? Or woo them or whatever the hell it is. Or bribe them. And why the hell does he work out with his regular clothes on? Why doesn't Travis change into a pink jumpsuit? I mean, come on, Little Mac did it and was still somewhat manly, so I'm sure it'll... It won't harm Travis's reputation that much. I mean, I don't think he's known that positively anyway. I mean, video game... An anime geek who lives in a motel room with nothing more than his fat-ass cat. And... His whole apartment's filled with wrestling masks and, like, anime posters. And he never wipes his ass after going to the toilet. I don't really think he'd be... He would probably be bullied in high school in real life. Unless he's like Casey Haynes. And does a freaking suplex on the bully. Yeah, Travis can probably do a suplex on the bully just fine. I mean, look at all the wrestling moves he can do. So yeah, up to, off to Pizza Bat Towers in Destroy Central. Yep, this will be the center of destruction for the remaining videos of this LP. Yay, stripper talk again. I don't remember anything else. But you see, I've forgotten everything. This place is closing today. The owner is shutting us down and moving back to his hometown. It'd be nice to go home, too. Since it's the last day, are you expecting something special? What are you expecting? Why do you listen? Well, it doesn't matter. I never really expected to know. You came here almost every day. Paid to hear me ramble on. And that gave me as much happiness as I can hope for. After falling this far, there's nothing left to lose. Every day as joyless as the one before it. With eyes closed, I continue to endure my existence. But I feel that I've been able to open them just a little. Today, since it's our last chance, I want to hear your voice. Let me hear what you sound like, who you are. Just once. I guess Sylvia's kind of depressed about being a stripper now. And yeah, if you didn't know that was Sylvia until I just spoiled it, then you pretty much have to get your head examined because that was so freaking obvious the entire time. But yeah. On to slaughtering stuff and cutting through massive hordes of goons in the next part of No More Heroes 2 Desperate Struggle. So thanks for watching and see you guys later.